Hey guys, got another video with my TRX-4 high trail, the K-10. Um, as you can tell, or as obviously if you read my description, it is the, uh, put the 2.2 Pro-Line high racks on it. And I got the 2.2 Enjora rims, they're aluminum. Let me know in the comments if you guys think it look good. Um, they do have the caps that cover the the um, the bolts, the wheel bolts, the wheel nuts. I mean, uh, and I think it looks so much better. And that's what I liked about the the stock ones. They had those covers, and it looked good. And I'm glad that these had them. I spent a while trying to find something to look like the stock ones, and this is about the closest I can get. And um, yeah, they got a they got a pretty good look to them, I believe. We'll take it for a run. I did. I cut the body. I was very very nervous about doing that. I did. I cut it wider around the tire wells. And what I did is I literally peeled off the silver trim. I cut it in some places and fit it back and, and I glued some of it back on where it lost some of the stickiness. And I tried to camouflage it so you can't really tell um, where I did it. And that allows it, because these were just like maybe a half inch or a quarter inch, actually just a little bit bigger, a little taller than the, the stock wheels. And even the stock wheels would scrub. So I think even with the stock rims, it, it helps to do what I did to it. And if you can, you can't hardly even tell a difference. Obviously it's not as, as square as it was. It's cut much wider and it fits the tires better. It even fits the stock, stock wheels better after I cut it. But I got it running on 3S right now. So I have all the upgrades to it still. The, I have the Hobby Wing X system, the 540. And definitely if you're putting a bigger tire on it like this, you'd probably want to change out the factory servo. I have the Reese 422 HD version two servo. That thing's powerful. I got it. I got it. Uh, Seven point four volts going to it. The Hobbywing uh, app allowed me to change the BEC voltage, which was cool. I always wanted a set of full-size Hyraxes, so I finally got these, and and I think they look great, and they hopefully they'll perform great. The ground, the grass is very wet, so they're picking up everything right now. Let me put it in first gear. Got the disc locked. And that was nothing for this thing. very close not scrubbing but it's very close that's good I'm gonna have to do some adjustments to the shocks I believe it definitely gave it a little bit more of a monster truck look with these bigger tires And I used a white letter uh, pen for tires that I bought off of Amazon.
And then what I did after that, I used uh, some of my fiance's clear fingernail polish. I went over top of the white letters with clear fingernail polish to kind of help seal it. And it seems to help make it last longer. Oh, I forgot to reconnect my lights for it. <laughs> I think my wire's just hanging off there. Okay. Man, I'm glad I noticed that. The uh, light wire was literally hanging and dragging the ground. I'm glad it didn't get wrapped up in the drive shafts. <laughs> there we go, let's see, yeah, we have lights. I got two LEDs per headlight. So I got four headlamp LEDs going for it. And they stay on all the time. I just hooked them directly to the to the receiver. And I literally made my own mounts for the LEDs into the factory headlamp assembly.
very capable rig. I am really liking these tires. Hey guys let me know what you think about how these high racks look and these rims and hit me up with a like and thanks for everything guys